Miss Karen English teacher presents Match the Cards. Get up off the couch, pick up the little pouch, open it and take out the cards that are inside. Place the questions on the left, all in a row and place the answers that match right beside. Ten questions, ten answers, let's match them together. Let's have some fun. teacher. Today we're going to play a game called Match the Cards. Let's learn how to ask and answer questions based on Miss Karen's lesson. A proper apology has three parts. If you've never read the lesson or the stories that accompany the lesson, you can go to MissKarenEnglishTeacher.com and you can watch the lessons there. Here's what one of them looks like. This is a story that Miss Karen wrote about Little Rabbit and White Rabbit stole the lollipop from Gray Elephant. In the end, she gives it back. Miss Karen is going to give you a pencil case like this or a little case with no pencils in it but just cards and inside there are 10 questions and 10 answers. Your job is to take them all out like this and line up the questions. You can tell their questions because they have doink, question marks at the end. You put all the questions here in a row, all ten of them, and you put the answers over here. Now your job is to try to match them. While you do that, some of the members of the Happy Zoo family are going to watch us do that. Right guys? Yeah. All right, here we go. What is the first step to a proper apology. What is the first step? Let's see. Hmm. Well, I see here it says the second step is, but that's not what we're looking for. Oh, here it says the third step is, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for the first step. The first step is, I'm sorry that I it's perfect. Let's put that over here. And if you hurt somebody, you say, I'm sorry that I hurt you. If you push somebody, then you say, I'm sorry that I pushed you. If you excluded somebody, you say, I'm sorry that I excluded you. What is the second step? Let's look over here. We just saw that card. Do you guys remember? The second step is it was wrong because, let's put that over here. Now, let's say that you stole something. You should say it was wrong to steal because, or it was wrong to be mean because, and then you give your reason. What is the third step of a proper apology? The third step, or the third part, what is it? Do you see it? The third step is, in the future I will. That's when you're going to tell the person how you're going to change in the future. In the future I will. What can you do differently? How many steps does an apology have? Well, in Miss Karen's story, a proper apology has three parts, or three steps. Do you see the answer that matches that? I know you see it. An apology has 
three steps or three parts. Perfect. Did White Rabbit steal the lollipop? Yes, she did. Do you see that answer somewhere? Yes, White Rabbit stole the lollipop. And stole is the verb to steal, but in the past tense. She stole the lollipop. Doink. Did White Rabbit apologize to Gray Elephant? Do you see an answer that could match? Yes, she did. White Rabbit apologized to her. Yeah, that one goes here. Perfect. Why should I apologize? Why should I apologize? Can you think of a reason why you should? Because it feels good to apologize when you know you did something wrong. It feels good. Let's put that over here. Doink. What did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? Hmm. Well, I can think of many things that I've done wrong in my life. Let's see, what would be an answer here for these cards? I lied, but then I apologized. Did you ever lie? If you did, and you want to apologize, then you say, I'm sorry I lied. Should I apologize? Well, that's a very interesting question. Should you? What do you think? If you know you did something wrong, then yes, you should. Do, 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 do. Click. Did you apologize yesterday? Well, there's only one answer left. Let's see if it makes any sense. No, I apologized today. Oh, okay, yes, that makes sense. Let's take that card and put it over here. Doink! Amazing! You just matched 10 questions with 10 answers. Congratulations, good work. Now it's your turn to create your own Match the Cards game. First, you should write your questions and answers on another piece of paper, a white paper with a pencil, and have an eraser handy so that you can correct your mistakes. Use a dictionary. And when you know it's all perfect, you can get your cards like this by cutting up empty Kleenex boxes or cereal boxes, and you write your questions and answers on them. And then you're ready to play. You can exchange your game many times with different friends in your class. You can also play a memory game if you want to. For more information, you know what to do. Go to MissKarenEnglishTeacher.com and when you're finished your projects, you can videotape them and send them to MissKarenEnglishTeacher at gmail.com. It was great hanging out with all you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Woo-hoo! Miss Karen's spontaneous mini song. Everybody get up, it's time to move. Smile with your classmates, it's time to groove. You are the boss when it comes to your mood. So choose ooh, 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 a happy attitude. Hooray, 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 you did your best and you succeeded. Hooray, 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 hooray. you should be proud of yourself today. Hooray, 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 you followed the instructions and did what was needed. Hooray, Sit in silence, please.